This audio was recorded for the Heads and Tails Mental Health Project with Chili Studios. I currently work for um, Launchpad and have and, um, Time for Change and um, a few other organisations, response training and um, experts by experience, which is um, um, done to people's mental health with experts' experience. And um, get rid of discrimination, and I'm quite passionate about that. My mental health issues started when I was about 11, when um, I lost my father, who was everything to me, basically. Fortunately, at the time, I still had my twin sister, but um, quite recently lost her too. Um, I've always suffered with depression and used to cry a lot when I was little and didn't quite realise it was depression. But my father was aware of this and was always um, quite used to mollycolly me, really protect me. And as a result, when he died when I was 11, my um, older brother started really abusing me physically and battered me and my sister because he said he wanted to always get back to us because we were quite spoilt. And um, prior to that, I had all the abuses, sexual abuse and what have you. I've been through every kind of abuse you can think of duration of my life. But um, I was quite lucky because I had a lovely childhood, had a wonderful father and a wonderful twin sister that always supported me and was always there to look after me when I was bullied at school. Um, with my depression, she was always there to support me. She was always um, such a sorry, such a, a wonderful support, and um, I still I still miss my twin sister. And um, I've still got a legacy. She helped me to um, complete my recent degree, and. Um, I promised her I'd finish my second degree, which I've just embarked on, which is a PCG degree to teach mental health. So that was the legacy that I promised Eileen and I promised my father that I'd do. So, um, I know I'm quite emotional, but it's just that it was such wonderful people and um, help, they both helped me a lot with my mental health, as as many people in this room has. And um, I'm very grateful for all the support that I've received from Rococo and the work that I did at Crisis um, for the Homeless. I did first of my teacher training um, about four years ago before I started working for Launchpad. I currently um, work at the university alongside Steve and others and um, that is really good grounding because it's helped with my teacher training and I encourage others to try and get involved with that service user involvement because um, it, it does um, help you with your confidence. I'm just a bit emotional at the moment, but um, it's, it's helped me to be more reflective of others. And um, I want to be in the future that I can pass on my skills to others with mental illness and um, to develop, sorry, and to, sorry, to be a role model and to empower and encourage others like myself not to go through the bullying and um, the hurt that I went through at home.